Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Santa's Workshop. Today, I think you know what today is. The welding helmet on top of the car says it all. We're welding this thing up. We are going to get this top attached. We are going to try and get some putty spread on it. Don't know if it'll happen in this video, but we it will happen within the next. But we are going to get all the seams knocked down, welded up. I'm going to show you a little trick. I don't know how well you can see it. See how the inner metal is kind of separated back from this one? I'm going to show you how to pull that up without having to get behind it. So we're going to do that. I'm going to get our seams down here all welded up. Once we get this thing welded up, we're going to be putting the fenders on it, the do hanging the doors back on, and then it's off to paint. Can you believe that? So we only got a couple more episodes here on the Caballero, and I finally got it figured out, guys. <laughs> but. That doesn't mean that uh, neat stuff is going to stop here. I've got another gentleman who has a project that he's wanting me to work on. And I think it's going to fit right in with my other stuff. So we're going to keep it all going here. After this one's gone, don't leave me. We got more stuff happening. But for this episode, let's get this thing welded on. Okay, we got this first door post sewed up. A little bit of putty right in there. Smooth it down. This right here on the end doesn't need any. Of course, there's your brace. Weld it on. Right down there. Now then, we are going to talk about this right here. I want to show you as best I can how to suck up the weld underneath. You can see the gap it's got. But we're about to take care of that. Let me grab some tools. Alrighty, I'm going to try and show you all what I'm doing. What I've got is a handful self-tapping screws. And what I want to do is I'm going to take a drill bit. It's just a little bit bigger than the screw. We're going to go through the top layer. Once we go through the top layer, I'm going to stop 
and we're going to run this through to the second layer and suck that up to it. So let's see how good this is going to work. Uh, you can see pretty good that sucked it right up to it. I'm going to put another one right here and then we're going to weld this up. That's just as pretty as a picture right there. All right, turn off this microphone. We're going to get to welding. Okay, there it is. Not the prettiest welds in the world. I don't really care for this weld through primer. It tends to spit and spurt and everything else. I'd rather just grind it down to a bare metal and have at it and then coat the crap out of it when I'm done. But I'm old school. This is new stuff. I'm probably using it wrong. But we live and we learn. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, I guess you can but he ain't going to perform them too well. All right, well, I want to get to on this other side. We still got to clean, cut this here out, get it cleaned up and get that in. But I'll do that after I get everything else welded up because that can weld in by itself. So we'll get this other side done off camera. Then we'll see about getting some, some putty on this thing.
Well, there we have it. I got the post put in. I got some cleanup to do. I'm gonna throw some uh, brush protectant on that. Get my putty on this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that all this dressed up, get my putty on my seams here, and in the next video, I'll when I'm hanging the sheet metal, I will work it out. But we are completely welded on. In all corners. And it is on there. It ain't coming off. This has been a fun project, I know. But we'll be back with you. We'll get the putty spread on and we'll close this video out. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get some putty on this thing. I'm going to be using a fiberglass reinforced plastic in these seams. Dura glass. Mix it as best you can. And once you get it and you're mixing your harder in, hardener in, you do not want to stir it because you will get all sorts of pinholes, air bubbles in it. Not only are air bubbles, you know, fun to get out when you're doing your finish work. But they also, if it goes up against the metal, you have a little hole of oxygen. If you have oxygen, you also have moisture. And if you have moisture, you got that right. You got the start of rust. Okay. Now then, I'm going to use a regular plastic on top of this for the finish coat. This right here is mainly for structure. And yes, I just use straight old cardboard for my putty boards. It's always available. And you're going to throw it away anyway, so... Always mix using a folding technique.
Okay, I'm gonna get my camera turned and set. Get it down in the crack because that is going to be your main point of hold. As I said, I want to get this as close as I can to the level. But once I knock it down, we're going to use regular filler to finish it out. And that will be on the next video. Because I am running out of time to get this one edited and get it out there to you. Whew. Yes, the sweat is real. Well, we have got some putty on the car. That looks like a conglomerated mess right now, but you got to build it up to work it down. One step closer to done. I'm really pleased with the way this side turned out. I was really worried about that. If you remember, this top here was bent right in this area. I got it straightened back out. There is no wrinkle in that top skin now. Matched right up with this one. We replaced this bar because if you remember, this the one that was originally on this car was bent right here. This was being in right here. Actually, it's right along in here. But it looks like it's coming together very, very well. I'm gonna, between now and the next video, I'm gonna put a little bit of seam sealer on this, get it smoothed up, because we're gonna be hanging the sheet metal. That's right. Next video will probably be the last one you see with me and the Caballero until we get it back from paint. We're going to be hanging and lining up the sheet metal, getting it ready to go to Mako, and getting that custom paint job that Randy has in mind. You're going to have to wait and see. But we're going to get it done. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, share this thing all over the place. Remember, we now have an address if you want to send me a letter or anything that you think that I might find interesting. It's P.O. Box 514, Stratford, Oklahoma, 74872. There's four more letters on that zip, but you can see them on my description. Uh, send it to Santa's Workshop. Thank you all very much. We'll see you next time.